if the powers that be allow us and all the connections work then this is going out live on my facebook page williams wonderful world that's what the series is called because it's about will's experiences with vr and tech because nobody really cares what i think um i've realized that after a long period of time no one listens to me not even my kids um <laughs> So, <laughs> as you can, as you can see from from the laughter here, they uh, they don't, they really don't, and um, you know, maybe some, maybe at some point in the future we'll get a third stool because we got more stools and a third mic, and we'll get this little girl on the microphone who's looking very cute with this little piece of hair sort of dangling out from under the hat there, um, and. Uh, this is Zora, and she's having her own little VR experience at the moment. Um, she was climbing yesterday in the VR, and she fell, and she said it felt like that she was really falling, and I know exactly. Yeah. I, I saw her. She was like, <laughs> and literally fell on her back. Yeah. Well, I've had my, I've had my, my, my stomach sort of jump up into my throat um, when that happens to me, and it... It's... Dad even almost fell on his face. <laughs> yeah. He did fall over, but almost on his face. Yeah, but you can't fall on your face if you're wearing the VR because the headset's on the front of your face, and you'll 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 either break the VR or you'll break your face. And I'm not <laughs> sure. I'm not actually sure which one of those would be worse. Because. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. The face uh, for some people, the face for you guys, the face is more important. For me, I don't really worry about that anymore. Um, so uh, you have to be you have to be careful with it. I mean, like all technology, you have to be really careful. So Zora is having her experiences as well. It's crazy because it tricks the brain. It's so crazy that you're you're climbing in the game, but you know you're not climbing because you can't feel the resistance against your arms, but your brain feels like you're standing on top of something and you really don't want to move left and you don't want to move right. And it's probably a good thing that you don't want to move in either of those either of those directions. There's something that we haven't played called a Richie, I think it's Richie's, Richard's, I don't know, Richie's Plank Experience, I think it's called. And uh, it might be Peter's Plank Experience. I don't know. What is this long plank of wood? Like, a, like um, what do they call that on a pirate ship when you have to... Walk the plank. I'll walk the plank. Yeah. Yeah. So it's the, um, uh, it's like the walk the plank thing, except you do it on top of a building and lots of people fall off and fall over. It's, uh, even though they're not on top of a building, it's, uh, it's wild and crazy. Did I have something related? Did I have, did that have something to do with that when you were scrolling through Facebook, I think the other day, and I saw a mini video of this guy walking a plank in his apartment and mm. on the VR screen. Yeah. It was like an actual plank off a building. Oh, yeah. He, they... fell, he fell backwards. Yeah. Some people actually, to make it more realistic, some people actually put a plank on the floor so that people actually feel that they're walking on a plank, even though the plank is not really high up anywhere, uh, just, to, just to make the experience more real. Um, Crazy experience, though. It just shows you how the brain can be fooled. The brain can be tricked by by anything. That anything that you that you perceive to be real is is in fact real. Well, if you're standing on a plank of wood and you're doing a VR walk the plank thing, that is actually going to freak me out. <laughs> I mean, I'd actually I'd forget the real world exists and think that I'm gonna walk the plank literally. I'd be like, yeah. yeah. Oh, I've heard people talk about dreams in vr that after using vr for a while they start having dreams where they're within the vr system during their dreams I, I once had a dream about VR. Yeah? yeah yeah what was what was in your dream about vr well i was playing my dragon game and flying mm. my dragon flying your f flying your dragon uh -huh. you have a dragon in my game i do uh. it's black and green and i was riding all over mm. the place Wow. It's, you know, I, I, I wish I had a dragon. I wish I had games with dragons in them. I wish I could fly them. I actually saw the other day that there's a, there's a website online. Which, no, there was, it was a video on YouTube, which was the top 50 VR experiences. And one of them, you could play a, a game where you were riding a dragon in the game. 
and uh, I, I watched the video about it, but I can't remember the name of it. Um, anyway, it looked interesting. Mm. Well, that's that's one of the games, but there's there's a lot of different games and experiences available. And dragons are popular because, for some reason, they're cool. Maybe because it's all part of the fantasy. Because we don't live in a world where there aren't any dragons anymore. And maybe there were some in the past, but uh, it's all legend. Um, it's all gone. Anyway, today the game that we want to discuss is Job Simulator. Job. <laughs> Yeah, job simulator, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, which is basically four jobs, and you go into the roles of those jobs. I think. I mean, how would you describe it? Well, I would describe it as well. Hmm, let me think. something that would help you choose a first of four possible jobs that you would want to. Do. Yeah, you would actually want to do one of those jobs? Uh, yeah, the store clerk sounds cool. Yeah, you, you, you'd like to work in a store as a clerk? Because I, I don't know. I've, I, I don't know if I would enjoy doing that. Why would you like that? I mean, you get to beep, you do something like that. Well, beep things. What? You get bored of that after a day. Like, you get, you, you, <laughs> you get bored of things around here really quickly. You get bored of beeping. You get annoyed by the customers who come in and ask for things that you don't have. Yeah, that happens in Job Simulator as well. Mm. Do, you have, do you happen to have some of error stuff? Yeah, okay. And then, it, and then the instructions on the giant instruction screen tell me to go. Yeah, Look well, what I do in the okay, so the game is set in the future. That's what we want to say. Yeah, year 2050. Okay. And um, scarily, there's not many people. That's a scary thing. Yeah, all floating TVs. Um, a lot of floating TVs that are robots and things. And the premise, the idea of the game is that robots have forgotten how to do things. Is that it? Uh, robots have forgotten about how interesting human culture is and want to relearn it, I guess. Yeah, because it's humans that make things interesting. Robots are not really very creative. I mean, robots help us do things. But once again, they are the problems that we create to deal with. I mean, I'm in the job lobby where I pick the jobs. I, I turn sideways and I see this giant old style painting of a robot smoking a pipe in a chair near a fireplace. Where's that? In the job, in the job lobby. In the job lobby. Oh, okay. Yeah. This, you turn that way. This is giant. The job lobby. It's job like a, bot. Like, like a futuristic job center. Right. Um, yeah. It, 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 so there's four jobs. So it gives you these. So it's a VR experience. And in that VR experience, what you do is you uh, you experience four different kinds of work. One is, what, what are the four jobs? Four jobs is office worker, store clerk, gourmet chef, and auto mechanic. Right. I like the auto mechanic. Yeah, yeah, because you can put donut tires on a car. In the <laughs> yeah, you can mechanic. clog the tailpipe with a banana. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Boy, the robots so get the culture wrong. Yeah. I mean, like, in the game, you can drink oil yeah. and your character would vomit. Yeah. <laughs> Which for kids is kind of funny, but you don't actually want to drink oil in <laughs> real life. <'cause> that would... <laughs> It's kind of funny. It would probably kill you, actually. So it's probably mm -hmm. not a good thing. But um, yeah. But then there's you know there's lots of characters die in games. It's part of the game, right? So um, so the the four jobs. So we're gonna we're gonna talk a little bit about what you have to do in the game, why it's exciting, and what's important for me. Okay, let me just get this. Let me move move my microphone. Let me get this out of the way right right now. Okay. I I don't like the game very much why <laughs> thank you for asking um i'm not exactly sure some things appeal to me and some things don't appeal to me um i like puzzles i like action um and you could argue there are puzzles and action in it it just doesn't it doesn't appeal to me it doesn't make me after doing it the first time it didn't make me want to go back and try try anything again but you 
but there can be lots more different situations if you flip it to infinite overtime. Okay, so there's this button on the games. Yeah, you see, okay, you're in the job lobby. There's right. like a giant computer screen with a stem. That's with the stem, and down on the stem's got like a little door into the box called options. But everywhere else, you're in the side like a giant job lobby. Mm -hmm. You've got normal mode, which has got like different levels up to about maybe 15. Mm -hmm. And there are like floating TVs around you. And Trey comes in with the jobs. Yeah, and the levels are like within the game. It's just a game, right? So you level up, you, you serve people, you do the job, and if you do it well, you level up to the next level. Yeah, in infinite. Oh, and there's a switch on the top left side of the screen. Mm -hmm. You flip it, mm -hmm. you've got infinite overtime. Everything yeah. turns dark, and then the giant screen above the reception flips over and shows a giant infinite overtime. Sign. So what, what, about, what about, before we actually talk about the gameplay, um, what about the mechanics? the game what about the, the whole virtual reality thing right the uh you know as you look around do you think it's do you think the graphics are nice do you think the hand controls work well on it yeah all those work well yeah yeah, yeah. Work, except once i lost my right hand oh yeah because it's technology right sometimes things don't work and her right hand disappeared in the game so we had to turn it off and turn it on again <laughs> Hopefully your right hand's not going to disappear in life because that would be that would be really confusing. Yep. Uh, so so there. Yeah, I'm definitely I'm definitely going to need to to get get you a microphone as well, little girl. He's not little anymore. Um, so that you can uh, give your opinions as well because I really want to hear what what you think. Now, uh, where was I? So the technology works works pretty well. There's four different jobs. And so what was the first job that we're going to talk a little bit about? So it works, you, you, you've got like, you need a two by two meter area. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you walk and move around within that two by two meter area. You just walk and move around and you pick up objects and you put them down and uh, obviously gives you all the buttons and uh, mm -hmm. things. So which one first? Office worker. Office worker. So basically you're, you're a worker in an office, you're sitting at your desk and your boss comes along and gives you tasks. I think that's how it works, right? Uh, yeah, the first one is to turn on the computer. Of okay. course, I didn't figure that out until I realized I had to plug in everything. Okay. I was like, doot, 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 doot. Why is this thing not working? Mm -hmm. And then I turned to my side and I'm like, you gotta be kidding me. Doot, 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 doot. Okay, so it's, it's logic puzzles, right? It's logic puzzles, but I just because I'm just I'm me. I just found myself picking up things and throwing them around the office. Yeah, you can launch what... staplers from the stapler. You, you can, can fire. You can fire. You can turn a stapler into a staple gun <laughs> and, and fire at people. Um, I once fired something over to the next office slot, yeah. and the person yelled out, "Ow, my glasses!" <laughs> yeah, yeah. So you you can do that, and the other robot workers in the office they ask you to do certain tasks for them. Right. Uh yeah, I sort of had to get the sort of had to get this robot a snack, yeah. but surprise, surprise, the vending machine got stuck. Yeah, and she was like, <laughs> launch, launch. Didn't launch. she get her hand? She got her hand stuck inside the vending machine in the game. <laughs> right. Yeah, and then right. she had to like shake the side. Yeah, to 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 get everything out. Yeah, so it's got a lot of similarities to real life. It's it's funny with the the email in the inbox, right? Where your 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 inbox is full of like a thousand emails in you. Yeah, five thousand around fifty six around fifty six thousand emails approximately. Yeah, yeah, which is like my weekly intake on my emails, and um, and you can just delete them all, which is very satisfying. Yeah, you're like. Yeah, clear clear all the tasks. So, um, and there's a photocopier which photocopies everything, including papers and cups. She's <laughs> welcome. Welcome to the conversation, Jazz. Jazz has found Roar on her tablet. Oh, so, uh, um, <laughs> yeah, our kids are obsessed with Katy Perry's song Roar. Uh, not me. Not you. 
Well, the girls are obsessed. Well, it's a it's a girl thing. It's a girl song, right? Some songs are girl songs. I got the eye of the tiger. Something like that, right? You're gonna hear me <laughs> roar. <laughs> you can't have Jazzy singing in the background. Uh, okay. I think our little video yeah. is being invaded. <laughs> it's not being invaded. It's being uh, it's being sabotaged. But um, <laughs> do you think we should send away the sabotagers? No, because no, because um, I don't think that would work either. So um, we're just going to have to do it with all the distractions going on around about because that's called L I F E, right? Um, so it's that spell, L I F E. L I is like lie, and we've got fair, so you got life. All right, so there we go. That's uh, <laughs> Dad's short introduction to uh, how to pronounce words. Um, so, so that's the office worker, and uh, the, I was talking about the photocopier. You can photocopy the cups and stuff, uh, which is ridiculous. You can photocopy your hands. Your hands as well, and get new hands. Um, <laughs> it's, it's, it's. It's quirky. It, it's kind of the whole thing is the kind of game where you want to you want to introduce people to VR. That that's what it does. It introduces people to what is possible. But it's still for me. It's maybe just too cartoonish for me. It's got a coffee machine that you can make coffee with sugar and cream. Yeah, yeah, and, and milk yeah, and those things. Yeah, and it's got it, other little tasks like uh, finding the right people to employ, going through the file system and stuff. And yeah, I went through the resumes and yeah. picked tourist bot and safari bot. Yeah, well, they, I did not hire bandit bot. Yeah, well, it's sort of it's an interesting it's an interesting idea. And if you've got people that you want to introduce to a whole VR, I mean, it's it's a good it's a good tool for that, but. Um, hey, Will, if you bang on the mic stand, um, it sounds like we're stuck in a, the bottom of the Titanic because um, <laughs> it's going dong, dong, dong in my ears, just so, mm. you, just so that you know. All right. um, yes, the ad stopped the music on the internet. It's really frustrating, isn't it, Jazz? All right. Um, <laughs> jazz. jazz. Oh my gosh, jazz is jazz takes over everything that she gets involved in. Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, <laughs> everything. The world belongs to jazz, I think, as far as I can see. The reason why we we went out for a walk and we came back early because jazz decided we were going to come back early. So I mean, hmm. jazz would stop dragging mom backwards, and then we just had to go. Yeah, we had a vote, and jazz kind of won because nobody else could decide. So there you go, the power of the power of democracy. Um, anyway, so we're gonna move on to the next job. Yeah, what's the next job? Uh, gourmet chef. Okay, so I'm doing them in order on what I see out the tray when I enter the job lobby. Okay, okay, cool. So explain what you have to do in the the gourmet chef part. Well, are you, are you okay here, darling? This okay? guy comes along who is the work bot and tells you what to do. Yeah, go on the bed. And he's got human instructions on the screen. And here is how you start off the how you start off each job. You pick you pick the order up paper off of the chandelier thingy. Yeah, like like in a real restaurant. In the office, this, yeah. you have to pick out you have to pick out the order paper. Except the jazz was too small, so I had to pick her up too. Yeah, it, me and bizarre. Zorab tried lifting her up together. Yeah. <laughs> I can't seem to focus because Jesse's singing so loud. Uh, welcome, welcome to my world. All right, <laughs> I'm amazed I get to focus on anything at all. Uh, but but I do, but I do because I force myself. Um, so yeah, and you you get put the ingredients together to to cook the foods, and you get to blend it and microwave it. I barely remembered, how to, remembered how to make a cake in it, and if, yeah. and because it's because human culture is lost, they've got all the ingredients law. Wrong. wrong. I mean, wrong. like for flour, they give you a flour. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they got some nice touches like that. I do have to say, they got some nice touches. So, um, let me just move my microphone a bit because I'm I'm slouching and slouching is not it's not good. And the they overdid the microwave. I mean, like you stick the ingredients in the microwave and it becomes a cake in in three seconds. Yeah, you can't make cakes in microwave. Microwaves. Yeah, 
it's not good for the food to heat things up super quickly. Everybody knows that. So um, you shouldn't use a microwave at all. So um, I think I think Jesse's singing is starting to sabotage me. Yeah. No, I can't listen to anymore. Yeah, it's okay. I said, "Welcome to welcome to my world." Will you just you just have to focus and concentrate? Well, mind over matter. I know it's hard. I know it's hard. How come? How come everybody? <laughs> how come everybody ended up in here? I don't know. Where, where did, I'll tell you what. I'll we'll, I'll tell you what. Will well, we'll give it a go, right? Because um, I'll do a little bit of a talk about VR. I'll do, do a little bit of a monologue. And ah, the very the very lady that we were uh, looking for. Um, the, we're we're live Jazzy? on we're live on Facebook here. Please can you get Jazzy out of here? And um, we love we love the girls. <laughs> Except every time they start singing, they drive me crazy. Yeah. I don't know. They won't be driving you crazy if they develop a good voice and they make a lot of money doing that in the future. Zora's already been driven crazy. She's lying under the stool here, um, beneath our feet. Picking things. Um, sorry? It's very cool that she was able to find it. Uh, she's probably better at searching on the internet at four than I was at 40. Because um, that's how things move. Um, are you uh, taking... Zora, Zora, are you just going to stay there lying on the floor or are you going to follow mom and uh, um, hop out? It's been around so, uh, Zora, 10 minutes of sabotage. Maybe. Zora, you've got to make a decision now. You've got five seconds. Leave or stay you, quiet? You want to stay here. Okay. Well, yeah. you can stay. You can, boing, you can stay on the floor. Okay. Well, for people watching the video, she's reappeared like a, like a dolphin there. Okay, um, so I got bored of the chef thing pretty quickly as well. Though it was like a one-trick pony for me, you know. It, it yeah, and then Laura really enjoyed karate chopping the bell. Yeah, I once cooked the super. I once cooked the super super hot pepper for this guy for this floating TV. <laughs> what he, he went off, ate it. And he came back on fire and set my whole kitchen on fire. Yeah, fire. So I had to grab the fire extinguisher and go. Tss, yeah. Tss. yeah. And he ran over. I had I had an immense amount of, amount of fun throwing everything I could find at the guests in the restaurant, um, <laughs> which I just I don't know the he game. Threw just... the grape, he threw the grape juice. Well, there you go. Was it grape? I thought it was wine. I got okay. I, got I, and I went. Wink. I mean, you can go boink, then you mm. go smash. Yeah. I already dropped the grape juice and it flat mm. all over the place. I, I, mm. I cut it into bread. Yeah. So, do you want to come sit up on my knee? Okay. Uh, I don't know if you can get up here. Uh, we're going to bang the mics. Oh, man. Okay. Okay. Uh, Let me teach you a little bit about mics because when, when we're talking here, um, you got to speak into the mic right here, yeah. So when you're talking, you got to kiss the mic. <laughs> I mean it. I mean it. You got to talk. You got to. You got to talk like you're kissing the microphone. Yeah. Uh, should we move on to the next job? Or okay, yeah. What was the third job? We'll be here forever. Uh, I'm so happy clerk. that you that, that you do this well. Um, store clerk. Store clerk. So you're you got your two meter square space yeah. and you're stuck behind the counter in a little little local convenience. Yeah, store. the yeah. sign changes if you switch from. The sign of the shop changes if you switch from normal to infinite overtime. It's mm -hmm. called the slush E. But then, if you switch it to infinite overtime, the sign changes to slush E 24 hours. Okay, so basically the customers come into the shop and you have to serve them and they're looking for different things. So yeah, and to start off each job, you just take the ticket that is printed yeah you take the ticket and I mean, it, you, don't, don't people come up to the counter and order 
Don't the robots come out in order in the convenience store? Would you take a ticket? Maybe you do take a ticket. I'm not sure. I take a ticket, and then the whole thing starts as the robot walks through the aisles, picks out his things, comes he okay. here. Sometimes if the guy doesn't come here, he just orders for what is behind the counter, like in the fridge. Yeah. This it, guy, this this woman came into the shop, went around the aisles, didn't find anything she wanted, came here and asked for a mega lolly. So I switched the knob to the freezer. And the fridge retracted in. The sliding door shut, opened, and the freezer came out. Okay, yeah, so it's got this cool little tech gadget stuff that happens within the game where one one function turns into another function. I open it. I grab the lolly out. Shut it. And then the woman's and the woman says she would like it jumbo sized. So you So I switch the knob there all the way to the bottom, which is jumbo. Mm -hmm. I switch it from hot dog to jumbo. Yeah, and then the And pay, then it goes and, in, yeah. zip, and out comes the jumbo machine. I stick the lolly on the jumbo machine, hit the enlarge button, and it goes from this big to a whopping this big. Oh, there's kind of cool things to see happen within the game. And when again, once again, you're in the game, so you're totally surrounded and immersed when you're there. And uh, so you're having a complete experience. You know, sometimes people want magazines and they want chewing gum and they want food and they want snacks and they, they want, want lo lo lottery gum. tickets. And then Zora decided that she would take all the lottery tickets herself and scratch them <laughs> off to see if she could yeah, win Yeah, I, I got lucky and did a... Mm -hmm and go to three streak on the lottery tickets yeah. and people come in with scratch lottery tickets and the tickets say they get something free and then they come in with half off coupons ah well so it does simulate that it doesn't it's nothing that once again it's a, it's a good toy for introducing people to vr it's not something that would make me feel happy about doing that kind of job because it's a pretty terrible job when you got to deal with crazy people and uh um, respect to the people who can deal with that on a regular basis. The final job in Job Simulator. Auto mechanic. Which is probably the most fun part. Yes, not really to me. To wreck cars. Wreck, you're supposed to fix them, not wreck them. Yeah, sometimes they, sometimes if they bring a coupon that says Slizbot Special on them, you're supposed to totally wreck their car. Oh, uh, okay. So what you can you can change different parts on the car. Right? So what can you, you do? People drive in, you're working in a garage, people drive in with a car, and you've got different things that you can do to uh, upgrade or downgrade the car. And, and you know, it, 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 it's, it, it's really, came, yeah. This guy came in with a car, and he said, when I bought it, this guy said it was a lemon. And yeah. that car was literally a lemon. I removed the lemon air conditioner, removed the lemon pistons and replaced those, the lemon air filter replaced, mm -hmm. lemon lights didn't have the time, there you so go. I just repainted them. I changed the lemon tires as fast as I could, I checked the back and lifted the boot, and that was literally full of lemon. You guessed it. There we go. So, um... It is fun to play about with the different parts and change the parts on the car and, and service it. Once again, within the game itself, you uh, have all these different aspects that you can work with and work on. And uh, you change the color of the car. And uh, yeah, you just need to go. It's sort of, and it's done in a sort of comic, sort of cartoon network kind of style. And uh, as a result, it's uh, it's just fun. It's, it's uh, fun to be in that. And I say it's fun, even though I didn't enjoy it myself and I wouldn't play it again myself, but I realized that other people would. I realized Got that the other hood people ornament like maker. It. Yeah, you turn anything into a hood ornament for the car. I just took all the money out of this guy's car, stuck mm -hmm. it in the hood ornament maker. It didn't come out the same. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it's got these funny little elements, and I think that if you're between the ages of, say, seven and 12 it's a really good introduction to vr also if you're an adult and you're you don't use computers a lot it's a pretty good introduction to things that you can do the graphics are not that great but that's maybe because it's the cartoons cartoon based sort of style um your hands are a bit like mickey mouse kind of hands although uh 
it's still pretty easy yeah. to pick up and move things and control things. So, so from the four elements in Job Simulator, what's the, what's the best one? What, from the four jobs? Yeah. It would be store clerk. Store clerk? Me, it would be garage. I can wreck cars. Yeah, the car one. Okay. And I don't have a favorite one because it's all kind of samey, samey to me. And like I said, it's not something that I would do or it's not something that, uh, um, that, that it doesn't have replayability for me. Because like if you've got a good game, is a game that you'd want to go back to again and again and again and have a similar but different experience. And with this game, with the job simulator and game, it doesn't, it doesn't like give you that. Like the Lego Xbox games. Um, I don't know. You what, can come back and free play and get things that you've missed. Well, you can do free sort of free play in, in these games, but it just doesn't, there's not enough to explore, in my opinion. I want to be able to, I want to be able to walk around the shop, pick things off the shelf and replace the stuff on the shelf. I want to be able to walk around the garage. I want to be able to go out in the street. You know, it doesn't, the, the VR still doesn't uh, give us that versatility that a lot of um, other games have, but it is coming in the future. And there are some games like that already. This is not one of them, but again, it's a showcase game. It's a showcase of what you can do I with the technology. I keep thinking what there might be in the future. Like maybe they could have like a chip implanted in your head. So if you go to sleep, you the chip activates and it feels like you're getting a full 24 hours job simulator or whichever game you set it to. Okay, so what is the chip? A full 12 hours. A full 12 hours of? Like a game you'd be dreaming, Yeah. but you'd be within a game. You, you so why would why about a game. why would that be good? I mean that would be cool because you get to enjoy a bit more what while your body that? recharges. About, you don't really physically move while your body recharges, but about? it's like your mind is transported into a whole different world. So you're yeah. yeah, that would be pretty wild. If you, you know, I had, I had this idea that Pac-Man would be really cool in VR because you, you'd be running around a maze getting chased by these giant um, things that were trying to eat you. Um, yeah, those, those giant ghosts. And I thought that would that would be a pretty amazing VR game, but I imagine Pac-Man is... Um, what do they call it? You know, when you can't uh, copy other people's games? Copyrighted? Something like that. Uh, Blinky's the red ghost. Sorry. Thank you, the blue one. Okay, cool. So, um, yeah, those 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 would be cool. I'm not, but doesn't your you know like you're saying that the body could rest, but the mind could be active. Doesn't the mind need to rest as well as the body? Don't you think? Well, I don't know. Because doesn't be doesn't like the mind need a break as well? Something with, it's like something within something within something. But what would be the point of having an experience that you didn't have for a longer period of time that wasn't just fun based? Mm. I don't know what you mean by that. I'm not sure I know what I mean by that either, but it sounded like a good question to ask. What would be the, let me simplify it. Um, why, yeah, what, what would be the positive side of having a brain chip? Because it, it would scare me a little bit. Just a little bit. You could, you would, you would know everybody else's move. Like if you wanted to continuously play catch, mm -hmm. you would be like, so he's going to throw in that trajectory. Shooting. Oh, okay. So you're talking about like fast computation of uh, of data and information. Yeah, I mean like you could have like maybe a little contact computer lenses. Mm. I mean yeah. like you could put them over your eyes and it would yeah. be like, this is that, this is this, this is that trajectory. Trajectory of ball, do 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 do. Yeah. So it's sort of, sort of like an Iron Man, Tony Stark kind of visor thing that was in mm -hmm. contact lenses. Yeah, well, that might be that like might be the practical Edith glasses. for some people. Yeah, well, the VR is going to get smaller. It's going to become glasses eventually. Anyway, there are versions of glasses that already exist, but they're extremely expensive and they're only experimental. Yeah, did you know that there are computerized goggles that tell you for how long you've been swimming, and I think it's like. How long to the end of the other side of the pool? Yeah, I I think if you're a good swimmer, you pretty much know that stuff already anyway. Um, but al the, although I, the goggles have like mini computers inside it. Well, yeah, well, maybe the timing of, maybe if you've got the timing of like when you get to the end and, and, and how long the laps are and stuff, so maybe. Would the mini computer be waterproof? Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. Computers mm. and water don't mix together, which tells you a lot about life, really. So, uh, computers and water don't mix together unless you count job simulator floating TVs. Uh, what's that got to do with water? I've some people, some people dun, there sometimes. Well, mm. I just keep. Having this feeling that the robots might go to the beach sometime. Uh, oh, there's vacation simulator. It's actually job simulator part two. You don't know about that, right? Job simulator part two is called vacation simulator. And uh, is it is it for you? Does it cost something? It costs something. It's a like job simulator is also overpriced in my opinion for what it is. You know, you can get better uh, free games. How and much demos is the play. vacation simulator? I can't remember how much it is right now, but. Um, I imagine it's between 15 to 20 pounds or dollars, but uh, you have to check it because the prices change and sometimes they have sales and you can get things cheaper. And so sometimes they offer free packages or, of games, not for, well, free when you buy uh, the Oculus, like uh, Vittery Mortal games were free with the Oculus, but you still have to pay a lot of money to buy the Oculus system anyway. So the games we're talking about um, are available on the Oculus Quest and um uh, it's a standalone vr system uh find out more information about it online there's hundreds of videos on youtube and uh, we use it um to explore things with the with the family and have new experiences and uh, to have a little bit of fun with each other at the same time so job simulator we're not going to give it a rating out of 10 because we don't do that um we just know that some people like it and some people don't um, i'll give it a rating out of 10 you want to do that? Okay, go ahead. Give it a rating out of 10. Nine. Oh. Uh, uh, nine, because... Sorry. Just for the okay, there is nothing to do with nine, so I'm just going for 10. 10? Yeah. You give me a 10 out of 10. Yeah, I absolutely love the way the game is. I absolutely love the way the game is. I mean, like, you got infinite oh. overtime. You could just continue playing it for about an hour and the customers wouldn't stop coming up with new things. That's except for three really interesting. Except for three times in a row, these robots kept coming in and I had to throw stuff at them. You know, they say in life that one person's pain or poison is another person's pleasure. And I uh, became manager intern in the... You really do like it, don't you? Guys, you guys really do like that game. It's quite fascinating. And Zora is now dressing up as Santa Claus. <laughs> I think more of a mega face. <laughs> With a mega mouth. She's turned her hat into a beard. She's turned her hat into a mouth. Oh, is that a mouth? I thought it was a beard. Okay, um, for those not watching the video, I apologize. Um, that's the way it goes. Uh, <laughs> Especially around here, it's never normal anymore. That's for sure. Um, what game should we review next? Maybe something like Pavlov. Okay, maybe Pavlov because we've played that. Um, Climby is a new climbing game that we. Um, we've only got a demo of it. We've got a demo of it, but the demo is pretty funky and gives you enough to play around with the demo to understand how the game works. And yeah, I mean, like the demo is already too hard. Well, every time I, I'm at least. Two leaps away from victory. Well, there, you, there you go. But um, fall and almost vomit. It does make you want to play the full game, though. So definitely, I can see why people would be uh, be interested in doing that. Um, you can. Well, I'm cool. thinking that you can climb much faster by just instead of doing that, you yeah. can just throw. Yeah. Yes, yeah, it's a very interesting idea. Uh, and, it's a whole new. And there's way of one little the spot games. where these are walls are between you, you can just go yeah yeah there's there's a lot there or we should um we should also look at the uh, the vr blocks game because that's pretty cool talk about that a little bit um which blocks game the vr blocks oh the, you mean the one where zora built a shop yeah or supermarket My... yeah that what was it called it's called vr blocks no vr blocks box Some, something like that it was spelt in a kind of funny way and uh we should compare that with um the uh well was it voxel work 
uh with with yeah it, the voxel something quest something i don't know which voxel is the, works. works that's it which is an attempt to recreate minecraft in vr which it hasn't hasn't worked has it no it's a nice idea it's a very nice idea but i reckon one person's been left alone to try and do it themselves and it's just way too big a task anyway i mean like this yeah we're going to talk we got to we got to talk about it we will save we'll save our description and discussion for uh, another video where we can talk about that game um this is uh world's wonderful world and also. so far it's got one like it's got one like that's okay you know if you can change if you can influence one person in a positive way that's a great thing to have achieved one is enough but you know why i tell you why one is enough because one is better than none okay that's the lesson for today. One is better than none in that terminology. In jobs. Sometimes job all you need is one. Four is better than zero. Yeah. One. Well, sometimes all you need is one. Because I was looking at all the games that we have so far and I was like, my God, you know, sometimes just like one would be enough, right? And when you've got and if you've got if you if you've got one game that you like, that's enough. I mean I bang as you hit the mic. Um like the Vader, we're we'll getting talking about Vader Immortal as well in the future because I think Vader Immortal is something you could play again and again and again and again and again. I think it's, it's epic. Yeah, it's like it's like watching an episode of Star Wars, except um, actually being in it. Being in it, and the 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 uh, the, the lightsaber dojo practice fighting is just absolutely stunning the way that's organized. What an amazing piece of programming and gaming and graphics! If you haven't tried it, you definitely need to. So, we'll get onto that. We'll get into that in the future. Thanks very much for tuning in. And uh, uh, Will's going to say bye. Bye. Zora's going to say, Zora's been hanging out here in the background. He's going to say bye. 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 And bye. Um, I'm going to catch you all in the next in the next episode. Sorry for the background noises. That's life, right? Dun, dun, dun. We're done.